If you want to find a place to stay while we're here, I've heard that the hotel value is top notch. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding you look into her house. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. You're not listening. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Law enforcement isn't exactly welcome in Neon, but that shouldn't deter you from your duty. That would be Benjamin Bayou. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors, which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. Good. I can't believe this. You're shirking your responsibility based on what this... You're stolen. There's a guy I... I'll introduce you. Later. Marshall's mess. Truth is, you're not list. This isn't the key. The people who run our job is the last thing. Law enforcement. Ah, rookies. I'm proud of you. Without duty and honor, you'd have nothing left. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know. Billy Clayton does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. Volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive is mostly linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool, having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. 
Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Their whole area's come to hell. Ebside's a bad place for tourists these days. You didn't hear this from me, but those inclusive mercenaries, the factions use this. Ebside's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas come to hell. Not interested. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's home. If you need something fixed, put in an order with Central Service. a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and we thought he might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that he's asking for something in return. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. If he won't even accept credits, I worry about what he's going to ask us to do. I can help you, but right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? All right, I admit I've got a bad habit or two. Look, I know your time is valuable. Here's a few credits for your trouble. Now, if you'll just hear me out for a second. I really need your help. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. That's terrible. You shouldn't be responsible for your brother's debts. Yeah? Well, tell that to Goodman, because he doesn't seem to care. He just wants his money. The only one that matters around here, the Sayoka Syndicate. 
they pretty much run the city. With that being said, rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. From where I'm standing, it seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines and a thruster assembly. You don't know what you're talking Look, I'd like to help, but... Calm down. I'm still thinking about it. Okay, okay. Had to try, right? The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, what about me? You just gonna leave me twisting in the wind here? If I were you, I'd get the hell out of Neon and start over somewhere else. Before you order, I have two simple rules you need to know. Oh, this is my place. That means everyone in here is under my protection. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. If you're buying drinks, you better have cash. Madame Sauvage does not offer credit. Good. Ça c'est bon? Oh, well, thank you very much for the compliment. I'm told my family tree traces itself back to Europe, on Earth. Specifically the region known as France. A long and proud history, no? Finally, someone who listens and does what they're told. A rare commodity in Epsilon. I like you already. Mm. I can personally vouch for my colleague here and make sure that he behaves. So, what can Madame Sauvage get you? Have you come to try Velocity, perhaps? Or do you prefer something with a little less kick? Of course, of course. Anything for my special new customer. Guess who I don't want to see? A free star ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Aw, oh, come on now. Don't tease a girl. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, 
This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. A time or two, maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. Oh, I'm listening with rapt attention, deputy. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? So I stole a ship. Nobody got hurt. I didn't even keep the damn thing. It was a contract. I was hired to get it for some men. Don't even know where it is now. It was just a job. That's unfortunate, but I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It... It's not that simple. I hope I can trust you. Yeah. I hope so. Hey, hey. Yep. Okay. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? Oh, great. A free star ranger and his... Aw, oh, come on now. So how come I'm... Uh, this is the dip. Is that so? Anyway, this... A time or two. Oh, I'm listening with rap. I'm guessing this... That sound about right? So I stole a ship. It was a contract. It was just a job. That's unfortunate. Can't say I'm surprised. You're real cold. If that woman had... I... It, it's not that... I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? I'd like to tell you. I really would. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery, and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Only some kind of off-handed comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Not long after that, 
I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankrolling the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh, you're welcome? Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Okay, hello. No customer. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm told my fam. Finally, someone who. I can person. So. Of course, of course. You got a look of neon on you, I can tell. But don't let the other rats hear you complain about your lot in life. Likely you'll get a bitter shiv in the belly for that. Precious few managed to escape. Either you're lucky as hell, or there's something special about you. Ah, goes, eh? Hmm. Competition for a slot there can get bloody. I think it might be more than luck. It landed you that. You do things to survive in the gutter. Every now and then, the good bits. A shared meal, a kind gesture. But most of what you do to survive... Well... There's a reason why liquor flows like water on the street. It's hard to give up your roots. Even roots covered in chasm bass slime and worse. You're all right.
getting around to it, Tone. You understand? Huh? Fine, fine, okay. I'm going. Hope you've enjoyed your stay here. Just like that, we're in space. Not exactly New Atlantis, eh? Hi. How you doing? I'll say right up front. I get all kinds in here. Feel free to look around. You ask me? Traveling and free? Just so you know, keep it deceptive.
solitude in the galaxy. Deputy. Look who it is. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Yeah, I bet. It just probably makes Aquila City look... Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other. So how'd it go? Turn up anything... Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Well done, Deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. When the first Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Like what? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is, he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. 
Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living.